at Assembly, believe you're 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 at center some behind Cooper. Um, is it? Can you kind of give us I don't know percentages, but is it all at center, some at guard? What what how is that being divided up for you? At the moment, it's all center. Um, just working it, making sure I got it down, so when I get to the season, I can play both really well. That's kind of the idea behind it right now. Sort of following up on that, we talked to you last year when you were new to that position, and you talked about how sort of uncomfortable it initially felt. You know, how much progress have you made at center since then, and is it something that you? I mean, when did you kind of felt you started to turn a corner there, where it started to become more of a comfortable position for you? I feel really well, like very comfortable with it now. Yeah, last year was was interesting, but it, it feels like second, second nature now. I can go back from left to center comfortably. Uh, kind of felt it really, I would say, the end of fall camp, I'd say, because I really switched back to left guard. So I went from center through spring, and then at fall camp did a, like pretty much all left guard. And then going back to a few snaps at center, I was like, Going back to it, it was just super easy and super simple. And now, instead of thinking about what I'm doing, I can think about like bigger calls, bigger picture, and feel really good about it. How has Cooper helped you adjust the playing center? And, and then also kind of with several veterans leaving this past all season, how have you seen Cooper step up as a leader in the room? Cooper's been amazing. It, there have been times in practice where I'll do something a little off, and before Coach Ellerby can even like get words out, he's right next to me, demoing it for me, and he's done a really good job of not just teaching me what I need to know. He teaches me the bigger picture stuff, like I was saying earlier. He uh, gives me ways to like sets, where to look, what to look for, how to read things out before they happen, stuff like that. Just giving me a more veteran knowledge sense of things and. Without him, I don't know where I'd be. He's killed it. He's done a fantastic job just stepping up. Tell us about Joe Milton now that he's the guy. I love Joe. I think he's a fantastic guy. He has done an amazing job stepping up into that leadership role. There have been times in our workouts where so we'll get up and we'll set and the coaches will blow the whistle and we'll go and he'll literally call everybody back and make us get back on the line because something wasn't right. So his, his idea of a standard, he's very strict on it, and he just holds us to a higher level and a higher standard. He's done an amazing job. You were kind of getting to it when you're talking about Cooper as that leader, but how invaluable is it to have someone with that veteran experience to teach you and kind of hold you accountable as well? It's special uh, to have someone like that and to be able to just kind of like take you under his wing and teach you his knowledge because there are some places where you really you can't get that it just kind of helps it helped me grow faster in my position and uh just i don't know it it's super special for me just being able to get that that knowledge from somewhere because sometimes it's hard for a coach where they got so many guys that they got to look over and it's kind of like you do your job and then you'll progress from there but having Coop to be able to like go and ask deeper questions about and stuff like that, it's, it's super valuable to me. Addison, you and, and the three other guys you came in with last year were, were freshmen. You guys played in a couple games, redshirted. I'm sure coming in, you guys all wanted to play right away. Every freshman probably does. But an offensive line is such a developmental position. How do you kind of have patience to, to know like I got I to gotta keep working for it and not get discouraged knowing that you want to play because that's what you came here to do? I feel like I didn't really <clears throat> fully understand that until I got towards the end of the season. Yeah, there were moments where I was I was frustrated and I was thinking like, why am I not getting the playing time? But then I stepped back and looked at it and I was like, yeah, I'm I'm really just not ready for what's really going on. I haven't developed mentally and uh, just technique technique wise that I've needed to. And now looking at it. Redshirting was the best thing for me, allowing, allowing me to develop and allowing me to learn from those guys that were there, like Jerome, Darnell, Coop, Spraggs, all of them, taking that time to just really develop my, my mind and my skills on and off the field was extremely beneficial. So that's kind of how I look at it. How much weight have you put on in the past year? And how much has it helped? Really not that much. I, I, I've kind of stayed about the same. I've just uh, trimmed off some body fat and
put on some lean muscle mass. I, I typically stay around that, I'd say three, 310, 320 range. I don't, re, I don't usually float above or below too often, so.